Hello and welcome to another profile. Today we've got state your name. Mihal Felix. Yeah, because everyone gets that wrong. Uh, <laughs> yes. Mihal. And what Mihal. And what did you play today, Mihal? True King Six Sand. And what did you go? X1. X1 at what a hundred and something person regional? Fantastic. So let's get into the deck. Into the deck, right. Into the deck. Starting with monsters. Monsters, yep. First of all. True Kings. True Kings. Do you want to turn them upside down so people can see them? Thank you very much. Triple Mario. Mariamne. Yeah. Uh, works great with Fuma. Yep. Any other card you can pop. Cool. Adds one. Plus one is good card. Plus one is good card. We then have... Triple, Triple. Rastos. Yep. Uh, works well because you've got uh, other... Fucking attributes, there we go. Yep, there That's you go. That's what I was looking for. Attributes, so you can work well, plus when you pop it itself, it will special summon from deck. Yep, which is pretty cool. Any Wyrm, isn't it? Any uh, any worm other than Barastos. Yeah. They all, it's all other than themselves. So you've then got one Agni Mazut. I find two more, any more than that is just bricky. Okay. Um, you can burn through them very quickly if you open up weirdly, but... Yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, you're making VFD, so... Yeah, it's a pretty good card. Good card, good card. Very good card. Uh, next, we have three Bower Baboon. Nice. Uh, works amazingly uh, with the deck for consistency. Uh, it helps immense hands. It, it's just, it's brilliant. So you, you pop this off of any of the uh, True Kings or Diagram. Uh, go into MX Saber Invoker and you summon Kazaru, then you get to add a six Sam to hand. Um, Plus, there have been situations where you can make really funny plays. Like, I've opened uh, this with Shogun Sheehan, popped this, drew a reasoning, <laughs> put Sheehan back on top, activated reasoning, they declared the wrong level because they didn't know what I was playing. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Shogun. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's just... amazing. Yeah, it's, it's pretty stupid. Uh, next, on to the six Sams. You have Triple Fuma, my boy, MVP of the game. Uh, so what does this do? So what he does is if he's destroyed by card effect or battle, yep. you can special summon a 6 Sam from your deck, except from Fuma. Okay, so it floats. Uh, it's a floater, it's not once per turn. It's not from field. And it's well. not from field, it's so it anywhere. Nice. Absolutely anywhere. It was within reason. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he is the main combo starter, he's the MVP of the deck for okay. the 6 Sam halves. Nice. He's also level 1 tuner, so he gets off your synchro plays. Uh, he also has, all the new 6-Sam support has uh, another clause where if a 6-Sam monster you control would be destroyed by card effect and only one, you can banish them from graveyard instead. Oh cool! Uh, this is interesting because like in battle you can like mutual destruct with um, Xi'en, target uh, another 6-Sam uh, and then banish from grave to negate any destruction of field presence. Nice! So, good card, good card. Very good card. Very good card. Uh, we then have double Kizaru. Okay, what's um, he doing? So, whenever he's special summoned, uh, you get to add one six Sam from deck to hand with a different attribute to what you currently control. Pluses for days. He's an Earth level four. Yep. Uh, you don't really want to open it any more than two. It's just a bit of a brick, to be okay. honest. Um, but, uh, again, with a Battle Baboon, you draw it, you can put it back if you happen to be that lucky. Yep. We've then got double Hatsume. Yep. Uh, her effect is that you can banish two six Sams from Grave or Field to so special from Grave. Nice. Uh, works on the synchro, so you can do it with that. Uh, helps enable and further combos and everything, and also is a water, so it's a target for Barastos, even nice. though he doesn't target. <laughs> also yep. a level three. Yep. We then run double Kazan. Okay. Uh, special summon from the hand. Yep. Standard old school six Sam right here. Spam as much as you want. Uh, spam as much as you want. Works great with gateway. Nice. Absolutely Which is back brilliant. one. Uh, you don't really want to uh, run any more than two because if you open up with two in hand, you can't normal then special the other because oh, see. it can only be a different name. So okay. it can be bricky, but it is mainly searchable, but it's, cool. it's, it's great spamming. Nice. We then got the one Gemba. Okay. Some people prefer to play three Kazan over the Gemba. 
but I find it's level two. It works well with the Hatsume, who's a level three. It's also a tuner, but you can also add back banished six sound monsters. So nice. gain a bit of advantage. Cool. Resources. Uh, and then lastly, Great Shogun Sheen. Oh. Uh, in ulti. Looks in lovely. ulti. It's a supremely underrated card. Uh, your opponent can only activate one spell or trap per turn. That's successful activation, so if you yeah. negate it, uh, they still get another one. Cool. But if they're not aware of what's going on, and they shouldn't be, yeah, um, yeah they'll play something like, I don't know, Pot of Duality, yeah. and you're like, fine, you can't activate any more spells for the rest of the turn until you deal with them. That seems a little like, unfair. He also has the same clause uh, as in like old six Sam's that if he would be destroyed uh, by just destroyed in general. Yeah. Uh, you can destroy another six Sam instead. Cool. So you can loop resources again. It's pretty cool. Uh, on to spells. We've got yep. the one rotor. Yep, consistency. Because rotor. Uh, triple Sheen smoke signal. Which is rotor for six Sam's. It's rotor for six Sam's, level three or lower, because nice. consistency, this deck bricks very hard, <laughs> but when it doesn't, you're laughing. And it doesn't all the time. It doesn't all the time. Nah, X1, baby, X1. X1. Uh, we then play the One Sheen's Dojo. Now, what this uh, old Six Sam players will remember this. Each time Six Sam Monster is normal or special, it gains a counter, uh, yep. and you can send it to the graveyard to special from deck equal to the counter. But it's a Sheen effect monster or a Six Samurai, so you can actually summon Shogun off of this if you've oh. got the counters. Jesus. Muh. Uh, we've Before then got the one Gateway of the Six because it's Gateway of the Six. It's not banned anymore. Uh, it's not banned anymore. Thank you, Konami. <laughs> um, yeah, you have to play this. It works stupidly well with the Kazans. Um, you open this, a Kazan, and another six Sam. You, you can make Barra load. It's just stupid. Yay! Um, it also good card. has an attack bump, which is not once per turn. So if you've got like 10 counters on this thing, you can constantly increase the attack up by 500 each turn. Oh. So yeah, it's, it's just... Broken, it's a very good card. Broken card. Should never have come back to one. No. We then have three Six Sam United. Another old school card. When a Six Sam is special or normal summoned, gains a counter, maximum of two, send it for draw power. Okay. Consistency. Pot agreed pretty good at here. Pot agreed that just requires a little bit of setup. Yeah. We then got three diagrams. Shiny cards. You want to see this first turn. Yeah. You want to see this first turn. The quicker you get to it, the better. Um, yeah, for those who don't know, you pop a card of yours, add a true king or a true Draco. Uh, this is the true king variant. I'm not, didn't really want to go down the true Draco road. It was just, just didn't seem funny enough. Yeah. Then we have triple terror because consistency. You yep. want to see that diagram all the time. Then you go one soul charge. Skill charge. Soul charge. It's it, you open it first turn. Considering you've got the bower baboons, the upstarts, the six Sam unites, you've got, got a win. pretty decent chance of opening it, and you can end up with a board of VFD, Decode, Nat Beast, and Shien. Oh. Uh, you got a monster reborn because Saki top decks. Yes. That's why you play it. That's why you play it. We then got the one upstart for consistency. For consistency. And then you've got reasoning. Some people may be questioning the reasoning. Uh, personally, it has not lost me any uh, advantage whatsoever today. It's gone really well for you today. It has gone super well. I mean, like, I had a situation uh, a while back where I had Shogun Sheen in hand, drew into reasoning off of the Bower Baboon, put the Shogun Sheen back yeah. on top, activated reasoning. They didn't know what I was playing, so went nine. Thank you, Shogun. Yay! And that is the main deck. 40 cards main deck. So do you want to do card main deck. the extra deck next? Extra deck next. So, first of all, we have one Mrs. Radiant. Yep. Uh, where you will be getting off like the MX Saber Invoker who will special summon the Kizaru from deck. You've then got an instant Mrs. Radiant. Yep. Uh, it's, it's, it's just a great generic rank two for this deck because it is primarily Earth that you're playing. Uh, it's just, it's Mrs. Radiant. Yeah. Next, you've got the one Deco Talker for those times you open Soul Charge or Reborn. Yep. Uh, it's just extra advantage, extra, extra protection. Extra advantage, extra protection. It's decode. It's yeah. what it does. 
You've then got Underclock Taker. Uh, some people prefer to play Assault, uh, the Noble Knight one, whatever yeah. that one does. Um, I prefer this uh, because there have actually been many times today where its effect to decrease my opponent's attack has won me the game. Cool. Uh, so you yeah. think OTK? Uh, yeah, OTK because of this one right here. Okay. Um, also, the other problem I find with a sold is that you have to, to get the full benefits, run an equip card. Yeah. That's just, it's, it's bricky. You, you, it's bricky. You don't want to see that. Yeah. Even if it's one of, and knowing my luck, I draw the one of. Yes. So, great rank to uh, link to there. There yeah. we go. Next one, Borrow Load. Yes. Uh, if you don't know what it does, it's it's... It's a nightmare. It's a very good card. Let's, very good card. Let's just appreciate the text on this card. So, uh, you steal an opponent's monster during the battle phase, a permanent uh, shrinkage of 500 attack. Yep. So, uh, link four, summon anywhere. It's a great problem solver. Yeah. And it can't be targeted by monster effects. Which and is pretty good. Considering that this deck mainly works on shutting down spells and traps, That's uh, and then letting VFD do the rest, it's nice to just yeah. have that there. Next, onto the XZs. You play one item X Saber Invoker. You can make it with the two Hats Maze, but find you never really do. It's mainly for that Bower Baboon play. So nice. you detach, you summon the Kazaru, you add your Six Sam, you make your Nat Beast. Yeah. There we go. We then have double VFD. Did you summon two at all? I have summoned two every single game. Jesus Christ. Every single game, like the first one got dealt with, so I made the second one the next turn, or a turn later. You have the capability to make double VFD. Jesus. It's just nasty. Uh, it also works well hilariously in your turn because with the Mrs. Radiant you make everything Earth. Yeah. Just that little attack bump. Uh, another stupid combo with this card, you detach to declare your level 5's, um, your ability to make level 5's Earth. You make Nat Beast. Nice. Nobody likes Nat Beast, it's a no. good card, good card. Very good card. Uh, then the one Phantom Fortress Enter Blacknear. Yep. Quite an old card, not many people know what it does. Um, it's removal from everywhere. Uh, yeah, you get one of four effects. You banish a card from hand, uh, random. Uh, a card your opponent controls. Uh, banish a card from your opponent's grave. Or the top card of their deck. Um, yeah. When you're in a situation where you have the advantage, um, it's, it really helps to maintain advantage. And it, it works brilliantly if your opponent's top decking. Nice. So, plus it's 2,900 attack. Can't go wrong with that. Big boy. We then have the one Tornado Dragon. Yeah. It's Tornado Dragon. It pops spells and traps. It's helpful. You can make it fairly consistently. Also, it is a wind. It's a Mariamne target. Once oh, yes. you've used it. Uh, it's, it's, it's brilliant. Cool. I didn't really dive in too much to what the true kings do. Yeah. But, uh, read them. They're Make good. the deck, you'll find out. It's all memes. Uh, Wamba Gooska. Uh, Is this good today or? Haven't made it at all today. It's more if you brick really, really badly. It's yeah. all you can do. Okay. Um, there are other choices. I mean, like, you Would you could play run... again? Yeah, yeah, I'd still play it. Um, I mean, like, there are times I wished it were a cowboy, but yeah. obviously we can't all have nice things. Yeah. But Maguska. Uh, Basically, level limit area B and lose one turn, all in one. Yeah. Next, onto the synchros. We have my boy, the MVP, double Sheen right there. Nice. Uh, one is currently secret and one is super. Looking out for feel that. The, feel the tilt right <laughs> there. Nobody likes to see different rarities. Um, can negate one spell or trap, the activation, not an already existing effect. Okay. Uh, He's, he's the MVP. Yeah. Uh, if he would be destroyed, you can destroy a face-up six Sam instead. So you can suicide in battle. You just avoid battle at, like destruction anyways. He's just a great card. Yeah. Always helpful to have a spell and trap negate. Cool. You then have your Nat Beast. Negate spells. Doity, spells. doity cards. Yeah. Negate all spells that you want. Yeah. Um, Assuming the VFD was successful, they can't ghost over it. Nice. Uh, you, obviously, you need the VFD to make it, but in this point of the game, if you've, that's the aim, is to make VFD first. Nice. Um, and if you got Nat Beast, obviously with Mrs. Radiant, it gets the attack bump. So yeah. it's 2 7, negate spells, and uh, just negate spells. It's a uh, good card. Yeah. 
Uh, you've then got your Crimson Blader. Cool, so people might not know what this thing does. What Crimson good. Blader does is if you successfully destroy your opponent's monster by battle, yep. uh, the next turn uh, they cannot normal or special summon level 5 or higher monsters. Uh, considering at this point you've got like mech knights, invoked, all everything. that sort of stuff, everything. It's just, it's a nice, it's an easy 8. You can make it fairly consistency, uh, consistency, consistently. consistently yeah. There we go. I'm struggling the word. It's been a long day. Yeah. Uh, it just, it's, it's a great card. Cool. Good card. And the last, Herald of the Arclight. Did this come up a lot? Or? It did. It came up a few times today, um, because every now and again you open up with a hand where you realise all you can do is make a level four synchro, and as it just so happens, it negates yes. anything. And it's a, kind of like a macrocosmos, but it's a, it's basically a macrocosmos from hand or main deck to graveyard. So yeah. you put it up against a sixty card player or a light swarm player. They're not going to have a good time trying yeah. to get around it. it. It makes it more difficult for them, and you you've got negates. So cool. that's that's what it is. It's Fifteen cards in the extra now. Side 15. deck. Side deck for today. The side deck changes every week. Yeah. Depending on what I hear and how I feel. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we started off with triple cyclone. Uh, won me a lot of games. Brilliant cards. Sided against most things or pretty much everything today. Uh, I've put in Cyclones. My matchups were, uh, what were they? Pendulum FTK, Paleozoic Toes, uh, World Chalice, Double Altergeists, uh, Light Swan Zombies, and Spirals. Cool, and what was your one loss? Uh, the one loss was against Light Swan Zombies going into round six. Unfortunately, the round before, uh, I was given back a borrowed card from a friend Popped it in my deck box, not thinking, oh, didn't yeah. realise, as it's my first regionals. Um, I got a random deck check. Nice. Uh, the deck box was asked to be seen. Oh, wow. Um, then they turned around and went, it wasn't on your deck list, it was in your box. Jesus. Uh, first turn game loss. So um, this is potentially an XO deck, but... Potentially XO. Yeah. I mean, I, I played again, the guy again afterwards and beat him, so... Yeah, that's after cool. After the round was done, so yeah, it's potentially XO. And it's Cyclone. It's it's just a good card. Cool. Next cycle. Next one we have three raw sphere modes. Yep. Kaiju's got outplayed again. Yeah. Uh, you tribute off for a normal summon. Deals with boss monsters. You you can't beat it. Plus, if they can't use it. You summon Ra. Yeah. You only play the and one. And you side the Ra or? Oh, that's what's coming next. Oh boy. <laughs> Just one Ra. It's a meme, but also people are siding sphere modes like I am. Are it's you... also helpful to side if you go first because if you get sphere moded, you summon Ra. Nice. They don't know what to do. Did you get it off today or? Uh, didn't 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 see it at all today. Okay, sided no it sided it a lot. Didn't see it at all. But that's those. Uh, we've then got three Chaos Hunter. You work well? Brilliant card. Uh, b stops your opponent banishing. Uh, used it in Paleozoic Toads against them. Uh, I was already at a high advantage at that point, so it was really just more a 25 booty to attack with. Okay. So... Yeah. Uh, can't really complain about that one. It's it's chaos under it stops yeah. banishing. We like that. Yay! Uh, next we have the go first siding. We had two mask of restricts. Did this work well? Uh, didn't use it. Okay. Didn't, for... didn't use it. Of course, probably, you didn't trace Draco, pro did you? Probably should have done. I yeah. mean, there were many kaiju's I saw today. Yeah. Um, probably should have used it. Just didn't. Fair uh, enough. Only play two because I need the room for the meme ra. Yeah. Thanks. So next. Last and not least, Imperial Iron Wall. How did this work out for you? Amazingly. Uh, any deck that banishes, if you're going first, you side that, they can't banish. It's 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 a no-brainer. Cool. It stops 60 cards, uh, you chain it to Invocation, if they don't have an Alistair in hand, it messes with them. Yeah. Can't do anything. Cool. Right, is there anything else you want to say about the deck, or...? Uh, it's a lot of laughs, it bricks, it does brick hard, but when it goes off, Unless they have an out like a mono regeki, yeah, or double board negates or board negates board, board wipes. wipes. There we go. That's yeah. the one. Um, there's not much that's really outing this, and then next turn, you just kill them. You just kill them. Cool. Um, I've got any uh, shout outs or anything like that, or 
Shout out to my boy Sheen. Sheen. Cool. Winner right there. Sheen. Cool. Well, thank you very much for the profile. Also, also. Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. Shout out to Zavi Ebert. Yeah. Played a meme today. Hilarious. Fantastic. All right, thanks, Simon Hall. No problem. Bye.